What is up YouTube? How is everybody out there doing today? I hope you guys are having a great day because Zach over here is not having a great day. We're gonna talk about what's in here, this really thick certified envelope. And I can tell you by uh, the title, obviously, you know what the hell this is all about. But uh, yeah, we're going to court today. I wasn't even gonna make a video about this and I started thinking about it, I was like, you know what? Life lessons. You guys love when we get screwed over, so. Well, we did get screwed over on this one. We were actually in the right for this one. So, a little backstory. Um, Zach was coming home from work one night, and uh, he ended up getting pulled over because the plate, uh, the license plate that was on the Cobalt at the time, unfortunately, somehow, some way, through PennDOT, got suspended. And this was actually the first day the Cobalt was back on the road. It was literally, if you remember my October 31st video of me fixing the Cobalt, or figuring out what was wrong with the cobalt or fixing the cobalt or something like that. I forget what it and was. The GTP broke right after. The GTP was having issues. And um, we had the cobalt in the shop. I had to get the cobalt running again. We got the dipstick tube for it. Put it in. I told Zach, hey man, take take the freaking cobalt. I'll deal with the GTP. At least we have a running drivable car again that you can take to work. Didn't First day. 24 hours on the road. Didn't even make it 24 hours and he gets pulled over for a suspended plate from PennDOT. Which, mind you, I never got a letter from PennDOT for a suspended plate because obviously if I did, I promise you I would have taken care of it obviously before Zach Not drove it. The cobalt. Yeah, I would have been like, yo, you can't take the cobalt. It has a suspended plate. Or I would have gotten it straightened out through PennDOT. Kind of like I did with this letter right here actually. We're going to talk about that. So we're on our way to court right now um, to talk to the judge and, and I guess talk to the officer that pulled him over. But uh, he got pulled over after 11 o'clock at night on top of it. I should have worn my free hub shirt. Definitely not. Not a good idea. Dude. <laughs> not a good idea. Just keep going straight. So. It's going to be faster if we go that way. It, uh, this is the fastest route right here. Okay, man. This says faster. This is the okay, We're taking that man. route. I know where we're. Okay. Well, you think you know, but you don't know. I definitely know. You go. GPS you got the green light. Goofy. GPS already screwed us over on this way. Actually, it did not. Taking this way out of home to get to here would have taken like a minute going that way. Not technically. Anyways, can, anyways, Besides back to my story. Point. Besides, I, I digress. I digress. I've never been this way. So, basically, um, we're going into court. We're going to talk to the judge. We're going to talk to you know the, the, the officer if the officer is there. If the officer is not there, that'd be awesome because then the case gets dropped, which would be freaking amazing. But I'm I'm pretty sure the the cops gonna the officer's gonna be there obviously. Yeah, she's pretty determined. Yeah, she's probably gonna be there, which is fine. I can talk to her. I, I wouldn't mind talking to her and straightening this all out outside the courtroom if we can. Don't know if that'll happen. I'll give you an update at the end of this video, obviously when we come out of the courtroom. Um, so yeah, so I'll call them back. So um, he got pulled over for a whole bunch of infractions. Uh, just a few of them was obviously. Uh, suspension of registration through PennDOT and the other one was funny enough funny enough he got pulled over what November 10th or something yep November 10th or November it was, 11th it was, the 10th. was it the 10th I think it was the 10th it, it was it because it was Marine Corps birthday so it was like it wasn't the 10th it was like the 11th or 12th the Marine Corps birthday was November 10th I was at Zia's enjoying my Marine Corps birthday holiday drink yeah and I worked no, but I wasn't at Zia's when you called. Oh, okay. I was elsewhere. I was at an, another undisclosed location. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, basically, the car got running the beginning of November. And uh, as you can see, per the October 31st video, when the car came in back to the shop, it finally got running because I was waiting on a dipstick tube, got the dipstick tube in the car, and uh, gave him the car to drive because the GTP was down. So she pulls him over, and I didn't realize it, but the inspection and the emission stickers were out the end of October. So like 11 or 10 days out. Like 10 days out, which I understand it out is out. It is what it is. So she almost got him for being out after curfew. Cause I was, I worked till 1045. Yeah, you worked till 1045 and you were driving home. 35 minute drive home. Yeah, and you 35 minute drive home. 30 minute drive home so it would have put him after 11 he got pulled over after 11 o'clock and she did question why he was out so late 
fucking you're doing the you're doing crazy stuff like drugs and murders and, and crime racing. and street racing and a loud manual car you weren't yeah. actually you weren't you were not being a productive part of society and doing your doing your work to help help the american you know economy grow or anything of that nature okay but she did let him go on that which was fine but she did get him on some other infractions here so uh yeah so this is what i got to deal with now so he had to rush home from school we had to grab the paperwork well he had to pick me up from work and if i if i haven't made that video yet you'll see why he had to pick me up from work more than likely you'll know why he had to pick me up from work <sighs> anyways we just so, died at the same time yeah like it's just been it's, i'm gonna be honest with you guys it's been a terrible month it's whoa, been a terrible whoa, two months whoa Nobody well, cares. Keep going. There was a the guys. There was an S13 240 just chilling on the side of the road. Um, yeah, you know it why? Was like, it was like broken you know why? down. Because yeah, the was, that's why it was on the side of the road because yeah, it was broken down. But it was a, it was a cool looking because it was a 240. And one of the pop ups was like ah! pop up pop up headlights. Oh, you wish so, you had pop up headlights. I do have pop up headlights, you goofball. So, anyways, like I was stating, guys, we are on our way to the magistrate right now. My my arms getting tired from holding this dang camera. Dang so, camera. dang camera. So we're on our way to the magistrate right now, and uh, we'll we'll see what happens, guys. Hopefully, you know, hopefully we're a okay by the proof that I have from PennDOT because PennDOT actually I actually went up to PennDOT. I took a day off of work to drive to PennDOT to show them the evidence that this plate should not have been suspended. And right here, right here in this letter, guys, from PennDOT is my proof stating that the suspension was stricken from my record and they actually reissued me a new plate and a new registration for free did not charge me a penny because the officer did take the plate when i got because the officer did take the plate and we had to get the car towed from basically his job ah! tippy and there's a cop from the job from his job to the shop in terry hill which also sucked so we're out of time and money and everything so even though we were in the right it cost us because of PennDOT's mistake. It's too bad that it's too bad that PennDOT. I don't know what's going on down there. But we got pulled over. It's probably suspended plate. Yeah. So probably it's been a suspended plate. So I, I don't. Oh, there's a oh, I broke down. That's what happened. He broke down. So I don't know. You know what's going on with PennDOT, but they really screwed us here. And we should be personally, if PennDOT messes up, if PennDOT messes up, I should they should be held liable for any charges that occur from them messing up but obviously it's PennDOT so PennDOT's not going to do that they're going to be like well sucks to suck sorry about your luck that's what PennDOT's going to do so let's get to the magistrate guys and uh continue this video <laughs> all right guys we are here at the magistrate we're getting ready to walk in Zach is very super excited about it right buddy <laughs> this is his finds right here we're going to go ahead and go inside and uh hopefully have good luck with this case. What do you think? All right, let's do it. All right, guys, just got out of the magistrate. Bye-bye, magistrate. See you later. So. The judge was very kind. The warrant will be out. There's not gonna be a warrant, oh my God. The officer is very nice. Hopefully you guys can see me. The officer was very nice. Uh, the judge was very nice and accommodating. Everything worked out, which I'm very, very happy about. So we're gonna. Go... I've I'm only been convicted of three war crimes. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna go back to the shop and finish up the video, guys. All right, guys. It is actually the next day. We we're back at the shop because the we we're at the magistrate pretty late. Not late, but it was dark, and I didn't want to record at nighttime. And we ended up getting Sky. Hi. Jesus Lord. So everything worked out very, very well at the magistrate. I have to say, I'm, I'm very happy with the judge. I'm very happy with the, with the officer and I commend them both for being extremely fair with the verdict, to, to be honest. Yeah. I mean, they're very fair. They're very nice about everything. They worked out, a, you know, the officer was willing to work a deal with us, which I'm very appreciative of actually. Yeah, she didn't have to do that. She did not have to do that, you know? So we had the registration and obviously the inspection emissions on the car, which, I didn't realize because I had Zach just take the car immediately when we got it done and I didn't even look at it and got had the letter from the PennDOT, you know, so the officer dropped the registration, but we still have to pay the inspection yeah. emissions she ticket, said, she said which is she fine. She dropped the registration thing since it was all funky anyways, as long as we did the insurance, or not the insurance, the uh, yeah. insurance. Okay, start over again. 
Um, yeah, she said she would drop the registration one since it was all a little funky with PennDOT, as long as we agreed to do the inspection emissions just because it was a fair mistake. Technically, it was a fair mistake on our part. Yeah, I, it was my mistake. I should have looked at the car. Cost, some cars have a grace period for yeah, that. It, 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 well, only if you buy a new vehicle, but it was, it was October 31st it ran out. It was November... 14. The beginning of November or so when you got pulled over, 13 or 14 or 13 something like or that. Yeah. And it was the first day the car got out. Of the and car literally car. the car left that day for him it to go to work. It is an honest mistake on our part. And it was a mistake. So we will take that fine and pay it. Well, we. I'm sorry, he will pay. <laughs> I will take the fine and pay because the officer even explained that even though it's his vehicle, in yeah. his name under his you're driving it there therefore you're still responsible to make sure everything's legal even if you borrow a vehicle from a friend hey guys i'm giving legal yeah. advice even which if you with the registration vehicle, we didn't know like you would never know even if you borrow a vehicle whether it's in someone else's registration insurance title everything you are still technically responsible for the inspection and emissions and con general condition of the vehicle yeah even and the nice thing about it is driving on a suspended registration you can get three months suspension for that. A yeah, license suspension. Yeah, if, if license, actual license driver's through, license. I would have got three months suspension. He would have got three months. I wouldn't have got because it was in his name. killed me. It would have absolutely killed me. Yeah. My work is far away. And the officer understood that. We explained that Zach was going to be joining the Marine Corps here. And, well, he, was, he, is joining the, he is leaving for boot camp in June. We explained that to the officer, and she didn't want to... What's up? I said June 13th. Guys. June 13th. Right. He got his date switched to go buddy system with a pal of his. I'm going to be uh, I'm gonna be leaving at 17. I won't even be 18 when I go to Yeah, he'll actually be 17 years old. Do you think the DIs will celebrate my birthday? No, they're not going to celebrate your birthday. No, they'll be like, happy birthday to Weaver. Definitely not going to. I'm so excited to make friends. You're definitely going to make some friends. I can with promise the you that. DIs. But anyways, let's end this video. Just wanted to talk about that for a little bit. What? Um, unbelievable. Just wanted to talk about that a little bit um, on what was going on with the court and everything. But I have to say, I'm, I'm very impressed. I'm very happy with the decision. And I'm very happy the officer and the judge of that magistrate were able to work things out with us and be extremely fair. So thank you, thank you, thank you to them. Uh, you know, back the blue, guys. Back the blue because... They're, they are nice people. You know, they can definitely be there when you need them. You know what I mean? Yeah, they are people. And stop fucking up. No. <laughs> Is everybody excited for my Integra to go together and blow in the same week? It'll probably still make it in the same video, honestly. Actually, it's going up. That video is going up. By the time they see this video, that video would have been no, uploaded no, no, days ago. When we get it running and on the road, it blows. Oh, for the and second it, time, yeah, it blows, and it blows, it blows up blows again. Up, up. Like, like, throws a, throws a rod to, like, probably. South Dakota. Comment below. Are you guys excited? Comment below. I'm so excited. All right. Let's end this video. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Instagram, Diablo Formula Racing. You can go follow Zach over at the pool. And like always, guys, deuces.